Will this thing ever start? You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Truck's still there. Update, they are working on my motor. So, it's at the machine shop. For those of you who have not watched previous videos, I cracked a few pistons. So now it's getting built into something capable of making a thousand horsepower. And we're not gonna run it at that, but it's nice to have something that is that reliable. Okay, that's the plan at least. Fuel line, let's go see if we can start that skid steer. A little update before we get on that. This place is clean. Everybody keeps telling me that. Like, overall it's clean. Like, we got stuff sit in places and I have a pickup that is a part. That's pretty much everything in those boxes on the tables. This side, eh, some stuff for parts, but everything is organized. Ow. Stuff's put away, it's clean. So everybody keeps saying, oh, you gotta clean your shop, you gotta clean your shop. It actually got clean. We just have some areas that we work in and it's a mess. Alrighty, fuel line, hose clamps, need socket for those hose clamps, and let's go get this thing started. Big shout out to people who sent me pictures of how this was run. I think I got it figured out. That one goes to there. So, we're gonna get this hooked back up and go from there. I got a bunch of clamps and stuff. I wish I remembered where everything actually went. That would make my life a lot easier. I made this one a little too long. We're gonna get it though. And the reason I didn't ask, because somebody did write on the previous videos, why don't you just call the deer dealer? Well, on a Sunday, or like after any time on a Saturday, they're closed. There's no technical support on that side of it. But they are a good dealer, Schmidt. Just, they're not, probably after hours if I called them and said, hey, I had a million dollar machine and I broke down and I need your help, they'd probably come out for 100, 110 bucks an hour. No thanks. Don't get me wrong, being a mechanic, you gotta get paid well. I wouldn't wanna do this stuff on other people's equipment, but I don't mind doing it on my own or the farms. Uh, some days I mind doing it on the farms, but yeah, it takes a skill to do this stuff. So. And it takes a skill to do it well. So definitely this world needs more people that work with their hands. Unless that work behind a desk. But that's just my opinion. I do appreciate everybody who works behind a desk, who watches. It makes the world go round. But more support for agriculture and blue collared means a big deal to a lot of people. So there we go. That one's on. Yep. That's the lock that holds the cab up. Yeah, you can put it right down. Give it a try. Keep going. I really believe I got everything lined up. Everything connected to the right spot. I got fluid up to here when it pumps, so that's going to the right spot. Unless I got something backwards there. I don't think I have something backwards. No, I don't. Maybe I just don't have enough fuel pumped. I haven't seen anything come out of the return yet. Hats off to Milwaukee Lights though. Okay. I'm figuring it out maybe. This sensor down, or that plug down there that I couldn't really figure out where it would go. 
behind this line. Look, it's taped off. Okay. Well, there's where the sensor goes. Yeah, that's the problem with not. This is amateur hour, pretty much. I should have caught this. So yeah, there's a plug behind that. Um, I believe it is the crank um, sensor, one of two, well, position sen sensor, magnetic sensors or whatnot. So this line goes to here and then turns, and for some reason I had thought it went down to the bottom, but this just goes up and over this filter, I think, and then, yeah, it's got heat, or heat protection right there, and that goes onto there, and goes into it so i had that all messed up yeah so gotta move it over there <laughs> yeah so those of you who don't know i took this part over a year ago and then it sat at the machine shop because these motors are extremely hard to find parts for and just dragged on and we bought one in between which is a cat and i'm not a big fan of it and i'll tell everybody that but Now we gotta figure I gotta check things over. It runs! It runs! Well, that's good at least. A little hard to take the safeties out with one hand. So there is a safety for the cab there. And then, as you see, because somebody commented on previous video, there's a safety that goes out and holds the boom up. Otherwise, this boom, yeah, would not be up still. Alrighty. Panels out of the way, all the tools. Yeah, this is a good feeling. Everything looks good. And then tomorrow, I'll put some cool in it. We do need this little overflow. It needs hydraulic fluid because we drained a bunch of it out of it. Um, but then we gotta, oh, we gotta break it in and. Breaking in a motor on a skid steer, I guess I've never done. I might have to think about that. Like on a tractor in the previous videos of the dyno, that is the best way to break a tractor in 
as far as the new motor job because it's in the same spot and it's just running under a load same with if it was on a manure pump pumping manure um that's a great spot usually you're running a tractor when it's under a big load it's working it's moving you can't stand around it look at stuff listen to things yeah let me get this together pumps won't charge because the hydraulic pressure is low enough so it just sits there so we shouldn't run it much at all tomorrow just gonna put fluid in i think check things over yeah Well, I put hydraulic oil into it, um, and as you see, it drove forward the second I took the park brake off, so I'm not really sure why it would do that. I thought I got everything going the right way, but now we're like in the snowbank, so that's cool. Maybe I got something plumbed backwards. I didn't think I could because of how the lines were laid out, but that might be it. All right, I gotta figure this out. Back again. So I got it to stop jumping forward. Even though it looks like the bolt holes are in the middle, I moved them to the top, that puts it in the middle. This stabilizer there is still binding up. I'm not really sure why but it, it's working to a degree. This pedal control is not working. No matter what I do. So, gotta figure out that. Cause that's up and down or tilt, I don't know. Gotta see what's going on with those. There we go. Now they're moving. A little brute force, let's give that a try. I don't see any leaks yet, which is good. Motor got hydraulic oil filled up pretty freaking full. Right to, well, where it should be. We did put coolant in it. So I went to deer, got some of that. Everybody, the previous videos, deer is like through the hills. Three miles that way, maybe. So we do enjoy our deer dealer. I'm sorry you just saw Got them to go one way, but I can't get the spool to go up the other way, which is a pain. I don't know if there's a spool all the way to the bottom or not. Oh, dang. Gotta get all snow covered in the outdoor shop. Here we go. Down, or I guess pushing down. Yeah, that moves. Here's the other way. Ooh, look at that, that moves. That one moves a little nicer. Just from sitting for a year. It's crazy. All right, let me get this thing started again. Whew. As I drop the keys. All righty, now. Ooh. She's in there. That's not good. Broke right off in there. That's like the third time we've done that though. I can do that. I can't 
rotate it, but I wonder if it's sit from sitting so long. So it does go up and down, but as I said prior, there's a safety switch right there, and I'm not gonna do that until I get it done. So I got up and down now. But I don't have bucket curl. Do got a little bit of a lineman issue and I got a flat tire to deal with. Back this up and see. all the air by going up and down and whatnot. Maybe. Does that sound somewhat normal? I was going to put some air in this tire. I had it sitting on this block and then I remembered we tried putting air in this tire and well, let me show you guys. Yeah. Oh, it's all off the dude. So, that ain't going to work. I got it to move. It's happy there. I just can't get it to function. I'm wondering if something in this valve from sitting isn't letting pressure out or isn't moving right. Because I had to get these wiggled out. And as you see, they still get caught a little bit, but I think that's the pressure out. But I'm going to wait for a diagram of it. Cause I got my pressure in and then I got you got your lines going out to everything I don't know what this little baby one is here but that big one leaving I would say is my pressure out or flow out which goes back I think that it goes all the way up to here maybe nah, maybe not I don't know where it goes I was gonna put a new filter on it don't have one so we gotta do that We'll go deer tomorrow and get both of that. Change plans. Just gonna put the spare on. It moves. After like a year of sitting there. So let me take you back if you haven't watched the previous videos. Broke a crank. 326D. Um sent took a while to get parts because those five cylinders i guess never break cranks so got a hole got parts everything else like that i forget what deer priced us we're still ahead at the end of the day other than it sat for a long time um then it went to the machine shop it took them a while because it had some specialty tools some weird stuff just odd so here it is moving sounding pretty good Everybody says Yanko's got to be in the videos sooner and more. He's running around barking at birds, so. Hey, what are you doing? 
but it's moving, it's running. I just can't function the boom. So something in that valve up front acting weird that it won't relieve pressure, it won't do something. Past that for a year, so I'm gonna have to take that apart. So it's locked up in the air right now. But something in here. But it moves, it does what it's supposed to, so I think that'll do it for this episode. And uh appreciate you guys watching. I got big news coming. I'm gonna do something. I'm excited for this year. I'm really excited for this year. And I thank you for everybody supporting me and watching the videos and leaving comments and following me on social media and whatnot. But thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I guess next time maybe we'll uh get that going it might sit for a little bit i got i got plenty of projects i got some of my own stuff to do so hey i'll see you guys on the next video thank you